What's up, everybody? We're in Bobcat Ranch. This is on 31 south of Arcadia in Charlotte County, I believe. Just outside of Lee County. So if uh, if you know where uh, Fort Myers Shores is, it's north of that. And that's where we are today. We're looking at a beautiful community. Um, Katie's going to get us a little bit more information on this place, what here was built. Uh, but we were here um, maybe a year or two ago, and we did a video showing you guys this community. Uh, it's a massive community. This is by no means a small place. Um, and it's got a little town center, and it's built architecturally a little bit different than the rest of Southwest Florida, which is nice because you guys know one of the things I don't like about Southwest Florida is how they build these houses that all look the same next to each other, next to each other, next to each other. And uh, this place is kind of built uh, in a much nicer way. Catherine? Okay, they started uh, planning for this in 2006. However, nothing got constructed, didn't start until November of 2015. Okay. And at this point, it's a pretty much a community. I couldn't believe how much traffic there is coming in here since the last time I was here. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a nice uh, suburban rural option uh, within a community, of course, for somebody looking to escape uh, the more busy, packed regions of Southwest Florida. So it's a great alternative for somebody. And it's a solar powered community. You see the little solar flowers? Mm-hmm. And on the buildings and yeah yeah it's got a lot of water uh lots of new homes it's got like a little town center you can definitely notice that there's uh solar panels on top of the buildings um uh, built by pulte homes which uh used to be the old devosta if i'm not mistaken which is a company that's done a lot i'm gonna have to use your phone for one second and take a this photo this is here. yours <laughs> yeah it doesn't matter to use it i'm gonna take a photo here for our cover cover photo here several one always comes out better than the other as you can see it's a very elegant clean place uh, restaurants all types of things going on here lots of wow, open that's water cute. look a little coffee shop mm -hmm. goods and provisions yeah it's like a little oasis in the middle of southwest florida actually it's not in the middle of southwest florida it's on the side of southwest florida and uh from we here school. yep Police presence. Um, I bet the fishing in these lakes has got to be amazing. And it's not gated, is it? No. It looks like it's open to the public. Um, and there's properties here from the 190s. Yeah, and they're not built like those ugly Southwest Florida houses. It's, it's built a little bit different. Every house has a different style. Um, exterior. Yeah. And they've built a lot more since we were here. I mean, this is practically a city at this point. We have an appointment with somebody today. Do you know if, if, they, if they're gonna, if they're gonna, what time it's gonna be? Who? What we're doing today, do you know what time it's gonna be? Oh, five? Well, it's already 4.18. So we gotta see what time they're gonna be. Five and after. Can you text that person and just ask them for an ETA? Mm -hmm. uh, there's a school right there. They have their own school. I mean, this is practically a city. And there's still a lot of construction going on, which is kind of annoying if you live here now. I think there's nothing more annoying than ongoing construction and noise. But eventually, this is going to be like a city out here. I mean, it's massive. It really is. And I don't think I could show you guys the whole community. Um, I'm just going to take a little drive quickly through here. I have uh, other plans for today. One of the plans fell through. So we were in this community not that long ago. We did some videos right in here. Um, back then it was kind of in an earlier stage of construction. Now it's kind of a little bit more advanced uh, of a construction. Um, and unless there's still a lot going on in here. What I like is that they've kind of changed to the traditional red clay roof, terracottas and beiges. And they got some blue, some gray, some blacks. There's even houses in here that are not exactly craftsmen, but pretty close to craftsmen. I mean, they've really done something a little different, which is refreshing for Southwest Florida. Um, 
not this particular subdivision inside of it. This is kind of looks like Southwest Florida. I mean, at least I, you see some grays, some blues, um, different landscaping they've done in here. Um, definitely, they need to develop better plants to grow faster um, because this is kind of a desert. It feels like we're in Arizona at this point. I feel like they need to. It feels like we're in Nevada or Arizona. They really, they planted trees, but they need to plant trees that grow faster and bigger. I mean, these trees are kind of small. Like the whole project has been fairly, um, in other words, this community, will, its peak will be when these trees get to be big. Its peak will be when everything's built. So it's not quite there yet. And that's a good thing, I guess, because the best is yet to come, I guess. Um, and it's also a bad thing because if you're here now, it's still not in optimum condition. But I guess a project this big is going to take time. What are your thoughts on it, baby? Let's see if we can get this back. This is going to be an entire city. Practically. And there's still construction going on. And that's, to some degree, um, good. <laughs> Being that... Uh, times are kind of challenging right now. Um, let me yeah. see if I can pull up out of here. Because yeah. we're in the work area. This is not where we're supposed to be right now. Let's get back into the residential area. So as you can see, it's an ongoing project here. And by the way, no association with anybody or anything. I'm just showing you guys this out of my own will. I don't have anything to do with this community. There's nothing. No association. In fact, I'm not even saying anything positive yet <laughs> so yeah i'm just looking at the community like, oh man i said it looks like arizona <laughs> yeah. minus the mountains so yeah um yeah no association with anybody um i just want to see what it's doing like because i was here a while ago for a video and uh i mean it feels like it's moving slow to me and the best is yet to come i don't know i understand why they didn't plant bigger trees I mean, if a hurricane comes through here, everything's exposed. But I have a, I had had a job here in Naples. Uh, something insignificant, something I could have done in 20 minutes. I told him $100, and the person says, well, I think we found somebody cheaper. I said, and that's exactly why I left Naples. <laughs> I mean, yep, that's exactly why I left Naples. Bunch of cheap people. And I, in Alabama, they'd ask me if I wanted more. Here they tell you, I think I know somebody who can do it cheaper. I said, good, that's why I left Naples. Well, I'm not here anymore. Sheep people, man. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. It's like, how much cheaper could you get? Like, we're in Alabama and people I offer you to pay you more. Is that enough? Do you want more? You want a sweet tea? <laughs> no, these people here, they're, they're stingy. I hate working for people here. Yeah. And then they have a very short notice. That's the other thing. Mm -hmm. A job, you want it done cheap and you didn't even give me a full, a full notice. They just called me. And I said, well, how about we do it tomorrow? Oh, well, we kind of need it down today. Like, I'm sick of these people. Trust me, people, being here, it's nice to see the palm trees, but I want to come here as a tourist and a snowbird. I can't live between these people. Mm -mm. Just too, can't do it. Can't do it. I'll come as a snowbird, but living here again, can't do it. I got three. I got four jobs waiting for me when I get back to Alabama. Yep. Four jobs. I wonder if that person will trade that truck for the suit for this SUV. You don't want to ask him? <laughs> oh, you don't know me. I know you. Uh... Oh, hey man, you don't need a truck. You need. I need a work truck. You need an SUV. You want to trade? That's the sad part. Is I'm. I, well, I'm not playing. <laughs> I am not playing. That's a twenty five hundred, like the one. That's like ours. That's like the one we got. Are they working there? Is just is somebody working there? Or is it just somebody that lives there? I think someone working there. Man, that thing's nice. They got a topper on it. They need it. They need an SUV. Are they outside? I'll talk to them. No, not they're not there? outside. He's, not outside. He's working on the car. Okay. He needs an SUV. He's got a topper on. Okay. He's got a topper on it because he's got stuff in it. Mm -hmm. So, hey man, this thing's got 120,000 miles. <sighs> you know me, I'm a hunter. I don't. I know. I make my moves, man. 
I ain't never been ashamed to make a dollar. No. Yo, the the thermostat of my car today read 102 degrees. That is insane. Yeah. It's crazy. These are model homes. Yeah, these are the model homes here. Mm -hmm. Let's roll up out of here. Mm -hmm. We got stuff to do, people to make things to do. Man, I, I, I tell you, I, I know you guys are probably wondering. What I'm actually wondering is, would I come back over here and I'll come for the winter? It's even in the winter, it's unbearably hot. Like, are you kidding me, dude? The thermostat was running 102 degrees. I'm like, how's that even possible? Like, half the country's covered in snow. Yeah. Like, it, I've sweat today. It's yeah. hot. My brain feels like you know, like when we used to talk about our brains feel like they're fried. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that today. I feel yeah. my brains fried. You know, like my brain feels fried. Like I look forward to going back to Alabama, but it's kind of nice to be here today. Yeah, I got four jobs waiting for me right now. Yeah. Four jobs that are going to pay me whatever I want. Mm -hmm. They're going to pay me whatever I want. They're not going to hassle me for the price. They're not going to try to get a discount. Whatever amount of money I set forth, that's what they're going to pay me in Alabama. Yeah. I got four people waiting for me right now. But it's better for me in Alabama. Like today, I've had like four brain farts. Where you're my brain misfires yeah yeah it's just it's like your brain just feel like you just feel like there's the sunlight it's just too much <laughs> but it, it makes you feel active and hyperactive which is kind of good if you're trying to get things done yeah you know, like the cold days it's not even the weather it's the cloudy day. to me it's not even the cold i love the cold weather mm -hmm. it's not the cold weather it's the fact that the cloudy days is really what gets to me because you're used to seeing the sun here in south of florida every single day even on a rainy day, you'll see the sun a lot. So to me, it's it's more that the sun. I'm gonna fish these lakes. You get a response from her on timing? Uh, uh, no. Okay. I mean, she's really working. <laughs> so we'll wait, I guess. Let's finish our video. I wanna, I wanna fish. That's what I want. I don't care about the video. We gotta get back. <laughs> get back that way. Yep. But I could fish if the shoes was still working. No. I want to fish. Where are the nice, like, houses we saw that one time over here? Remember where they're, like, really nice, neat designs? Were they down that way? I don't remember. Remember the ones that were, like, kind of, uh... They're closer to the front. Look at Google Map, because this, this place is massive. We could drive around for hours and not find a way through. <laughs> no, they're, like, right over there. Down yeah, that way? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want to fish. I can't buy a house here unless I, if the fishing's not good, I'm not buying a house here. <laughs> You'd buy a house here? Me? Oh, of course I would. If the, if the fishing's great, yeah. I gotta fish first. Here's a surveyor. I'm sorry if I'm disturbing your surveying work, but I have a very important fishing work that needs to, I love the color of the water. I guess it was a quarry before, so the water color here is incredible. Mm -hmm. Let me find a spot. Which way is the wind blowing? This way? Yeah. Well, the wind's blowing this way. The best fishing's gonna be right in, right behind, right there's gonna be where the fishing's gonna be good. Uh, or behind this little island. I'm gonna betray them and go fishing instead of upload the video. No. <laughs> Supposed to be recording a video. Record the video. I'm gonna go fishing. Yes, I know. You've wanted to go fishing a lot. I don't wanna be recording a video right now. I'm I have sorry. limited time here that I would rather spend fishing, and I have to spend it winging and evading for these people. They don't even hit the like button on me. Y'all don't even hit the like button all the time. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't even hit the like button for me, and I'm over here. Make sure you thank Jose for giving up his fishing today. Not, no, 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 don't even say me. I'm, it's not a voluntary thing. I'm not. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> can I quit working? Can I quit right now? I'm quitting. I quit. To, I'm to, I want to go fishing. I don't want to be out here. Well, I mean, they're going to wonder if the fishing's any good, so I have to let them know. I, I got to go. No. Yeah. I, I got to see if the, the water's temperature. No. What if the water's too cold, huh? Jose. Yeah. It's windy. Very windy. The cold front came through. Just, just put the camera on. No, you got to work. No, I don't want to work. I'm going to go fishing. Yeah, Jose. Yeah. Jose. What? 
Jose. Why? Why? You know I can hear everything you say under you your feet. I didn't say nothing under my tongue. How do I get out of here? Uh, you're going to be a lookout. No. You're probably not supposed to be fishing in here. This is like a dead end. We're at a dead end. There's a road on the other side. Where are we? This is just like empty lots waiting for houses, I guess. Fishing in that little lake over there's got to be one. Just, just hold on one second, right? I'm only going to cast once. No. Where are the, like the really old houses? Way on... Yo, this thing is massive. Okay. The houses that I'm talking about, they are far away. Yeah. Like, they are really far on the other side of this thing. <laughs> we got to go either way. <laughs> hey, Siri, Fort Myers, Florida. Directions. Getting directions to Fort Myers. We got to get out of here, baby. We still got to get the food before we go. Yeah, 80 and 80. How does this not know where I am? Fort Myers one. Let's go Fort Myers. Start. Head south on Waterside Trail toward Blue Stem Lane. Turn left. Yeah, we still gotta get Blue food Stem and everything. Lane. So. Then turn right onto Bluebird Trail. Man, not enough time on this trip. I thought we had enough time on this trip. <laughs> now I got I got four time. jobs. I got four jobs waiting for me, Alabama. Turn right. So like I I could stay a little bit longer. Okay. Maybe we could do those jobs in Alabama and then come back to Florida again. But I got four jobs. That's a thousand dollars. I gotta make at least a thousand dollars. At least a thousand dollars. I gotta go make. I mean, I gotta go make it. Right. It's not that. These are repeat customers. We have to take care of them. Mm -hmm. We can't leave our customers stranded because we're on vacation. Mm -hmm. These palm trees look ugly. I can't wait. But they look nice once they grow. Once they grow. But that's like the whole concept of this community. Like eventually, it'll grow. Eventually, these trees. <laughs> Like right now, we're just kind of, uh, we're winging it for now. <laughs> like eventually it'll, it'll look great. We're waiting. We, we have to plant them small. They got their neighborhood school. Which means they have their own, like, it's basically a city. I mean, they got their own school. Uh -huh. Right? Uh -huh. They got their own Watch school. Feet at the traffic circle. Take the first exit onto Lake Babcock Drive. Give this a few years and it'll look completely Oh, they got to finish the, a lot. I mean, yeah. There's still the amount of investment needed in this place yeah. is a lot. And if it was completely done, it, it's not like the villages, but it's it's like a fraction of it, you know. So, there's very wide sidewalks. I guess it's, it's got the right to go. Exit the traffic. Yeah, so people can bike safely. They've thought out some things, you know. Or drive their That's golf course. Or drive their golf course. That's a good. You've made a good observation. Sure, weren't cutting corners on the sidewalks. Yeah, these things are wide. And there's a bike lane. There's a bike lane. Oh, you can see a lady walking in a shower next to those alligators over there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there's like, well, there's like a walk path. Yeah. They even went with like the cheapest palm trees they could get. They didn't even get like royal palm trees, they got like the Paseo palms. I don't know. It seems like they cut a lot of corners. You can tell they cut a lot of corners. Not using mature. Even here in the town center, these aren't mature trees. They're kind of small. They cut a lot of corners, man. But that means they may be like investing in this long term. Like they believe yeah. this is a long term investment. Thus, since they believe it's a long term investment, then the best is yet to come, you know? I guess. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Maybe the best is yet to come. I don't know. Who knows? They didn't even use like the traditional world palm trees. Maybe it wouldn't look right. I don't know. Maybe there's like maybe there's like an engineer watching this. Somebody would design this whole thing. Like it is a stupid idiot. We use these palm trees because they're more acclimated to the natural resources of the land. You know, like, he's got like some intellectual explanation to why they did that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This guy's an idiot. I went to the best school. <laughs> we get called an idiot a lot, a lot. on this channel. Yeah. This guy's a complete idiot. I went to the best school of plants and I got <laughs> We use these plants because they're more acclimated to the climate. Then the the set of palm trees you have to use fertilizer. We do not want to pollute. 
<laughs> they have some like real elaborate explanation to all these things. Yeah. In the long run, it is actually cheaper to have wide sidewalks than to be getting sued all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be out of here. I guess straight ahead. Babcock National. They have a golf course. Edgewater. You can name anything national, like a national trailer park. <laughs> I'm sure we that's should start that's, with yeah, like a national trailer park, presidential trailer park. <laughs> we can name places whatever you want. We got the sun in our face, man. Remember that idea for a community we had? Uh, which one? I've had a lot of ideas, Katie. None of them have actually oh, materialized, yeah. and if they did, it'd be horrific. <laughs> exactly, that was on mine. What was my community about? The gated community. For what? The, the, the gay oh, that, you can't do that <laughs> no where it was like where people could have like goats and stuff oh yeah 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 like a gangster like a gangster gay community yeah yeah like for rappers and stuff yeah <laughs> we don't need a golf course we need like a mud pit or something you know what I mean like instead of having a golf course you got a mud pit in your backyard yeah <laughs> you know you're required to burn gar your own garbage in your front lawn uh -huh. Hey, isn't that kind of like where we live? <laughs> Goats. <laughs> Why don't we get a goat? I don't want. I don't want any responsibility. You're enough. Of it. It's just, just feeding you is, is making me. Just taking. You're already all. You're all the pet I need, baby. I'm gonna pet you right now. Don't bite. Gosh, that thing. That is not a domestic animal. <laughs> That thing is not domesticated. Wow. That is not domesticated. Get off. Get off me. Get off me. Stop, Stop trying to bite me, man. Yeah. Alright, everybody. So that's a tour of Wildcat. Stop. You're driving. You're going to get us killed, man. Really building over there, so like uh that's new. Yeah. What's that gonna be? I haven't seen that yet. No. Maybe it's gonna be a company that makes some. Oh shopping centers. Yeah. Yeah. What is that like a Publix or something? Looks like a Publix to me. Oh, this is a good community. Yeah, a but Publix. Yeah, money. They're getting a Publix out here. Ugh. That is so wrong. They're putting a Publix out here, and like, there's a thousand places that still don't have a Publix that can use no more. It's just wrong, in Lockley. Lehigh. Yeah, they got one. Okay. They're wrong. <laughs> there's these 3,000 people here, and they get a Publix. Yet Lehigh has like 200,000 people, and they got like one Publix. And it's not even all, it's not even all that great for a Publix. <laughs> okay, it's not as wrong. It's actually, why Lehigh? don't we do a Le uh, Lehigh Publix tour? <laughs> it's probably more like a Sedano's at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you want to give me a high five? I'm driving. Because I like you. I don't want to be liked by you. Okay, we, we live together and that's about it. You don't want to be liked by me? Probably not. And if I did, I wouldn't want to be talking about it. I just do it and that's it. All right. We are going to terminate this video, guys. And uh, not quite yet. No, we're done. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with us and our. There we go. Pass them. Look at the trees. What about the trees? They're pretty. Stop trying to make the video longer. But it's working. I'm gonna get 25 minutes, and I'm gonna stop it. I'm trying to make the video stop at exact numbers. Yeah. It looks more neat that way. Yeah. Process. This looks like you'd see a lot of bears around here. Bears, yeah, probably. You know that Joe Exotic, uh, he had his tiger farm, like, not too far from here? Yeah. Yeah. That was pretty much the only thing that was out here. Yeah. He was trying to get pardoned, and he didn't. Even Trump was like, ah, 
<laughs> no. I'm, I, I associate with Little Wayne and Kodak, but this guy's beyond. Yeah. You know, like, I can't get my hand. This is too risky. Yeah. All right, y'all. Check it out.